Hey, what is going on ladies and gentlemen? My name is Corbett and I'll be your host today for Europa Universalis 4. Welcome back to episode 46 of the Kingdom of God, the Battle Pope in 1.30. This will likely be the final episode of the series, so I'd like to start off by thanking you all for watching. Now let's get on with our final conversions of some heretics. We have ended our truce with most of the uh, HRE members here, well, former HRE members. So let's start off with converting Saxony. Move straight for their capital. We have Konstanz and Trier as well in this war, but they shouldn't be too much of an issue. Trier being one of the larger ones to deal with. So we'll move this guy here and then move him back, and we'll have you move to Konstanz. And that should be just fine. We shouldn't need very many armies here to uh, get this whole thing over with. Is there a faster way through there? Not really, no. Unfortunate, but oh well. The Sao has been immediately sieged. Very nice. Triad already wants peace. Well, you know what? Sure. I'll take it. Because you have been... Oh, that's Münster. That's not Triad. I thought this whole thing was Triad, but it's not. Okay. Um, sure, then you can have peace. You're already the uh, correct religion here, so let me just... War reps. Alliance, 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 money. And I mean, that's, that doesn't really matter to me what you do, so... Goodbye. <clears throat> I'll move you back down here so that we can deal with Konstanz. They'll get immediately destroyed. And then we'll move you here. This poor stack has nothing better to do. I guess they can move up into Saxony. Let's keep converting a little bit more land. Come on, 78%. Here we go, that siege is done. You can move over here too. Someone just blocked off my access. Well, that's nice. That's just brilliant. I'll have to take the long route then. There we go, Konstanz is done. There really is nowhere for my dude to stand because my subject doesn't have quantity, so he's going to have some issues. Or I'm going to have issues just standing anywhere, really. So Konstanz, you may leave. Would taking that be a terrible thing to do? Yeah, probably. I'll just take the, uh... Take War Reps, Alliance. Again, it doesn't really matter to me what you do. And Rival or something. There you go. Have a good day. And we'll bring this guy back home to here. Actually, no, we'll bring him right over to there. That's gonna change things, though. There we go. I've taken one little piece of land, that's fine. To finally convert you, it'll cost me... 94, well that is pretty expensive. <laughs> Too high taxes, I cannot hear you. That is so many provinces, that's kind of ridiculous. But yeah, no, I can't hear them, I have no idea what they're saying, because it just turns out to uh, one province. That's it, that's what it turns into. A single province with 1.2 unrest. It's really not much. There we go. I've taken your last fort. So you should probably peace out now. With force religion and the rest of your money. Cool. Welcome back to the Catholic Club. We'll have this guy use his... Black flag to move over here, maybe? No, he can move right here. I'll actually have both of these guys use their black flags to move into my subject. Because we have just one nation left to convert, I think. And that is Mulhausen. Should be very simple to fix that up. So let's convert that one province. We have very few conversions left at all. 
was a wild ride finally getting this whole thing sorted out. But now we're ready. Declare on you. And then I actually can move into their capital. Very nice. I'll have to move into Switzerland as well. Oh, it sure has been a wild ride over here. Let me just clean up all the rest of this land here. I'll actually go and siege that. So I'll go in barrage. Make that a little easier. Barrage that too. Military access is fine. Give me that land. Thank you very much for moving to your capital. We'll take this. We'll move here. Twenty fifth of March. I get there on the twenty seventh, so I can catch that one little stack that's left. I've also taken your capital, so you'll probably peace out. War reps. Doesn't really matter to me what alliance you get rid of, but. There we go, you can leave. I'll bring these guys back. Switzerland will probably leave too, pretty soon. Just gotta take their capital real quick. They have amazing defensiveness on there, actually. Well, maybe it's because we're not using my siege ability, which is twice that of Badin's, but... Oh well. You guys can go back home. Um, I would prefer this way, actually. Okay, that's cool. And you can leave Switzerland. I don't know. Weird alliances, you can just do whatever you want. Sure. And goodbye. And then finally we have Mulhausa, which is Force Religion, Take Money, Alliance, Alliance, Alliance. Well, just two of them is fine. Cool. We're finally here. We've finally gone ahead and done it. Every single nation inside of Germany is primary Catholic religion, with a little bit of heresy tucked away in some places. But it will be rooted out by itself in due time, pretty easily. With this, we finally complete our mission tree. Took a pretty long time to get this whole thing finished and over with. But we get an extra missionary, and we get 3% missionary strength. For the rest of, I don't know, the very few days or whatever this uh, campaign will last. Because I might as well force convert the rest of these Protestants. In fact, I think that would make up the rest of the Protestant nations in the game. I think. Right? How many Protestant nations are there? Six. Six countries. One, two, three, four, five... Sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, they're all right here. Gotcha. I was just messing up my math a whole bunch. Uh, anyways, we do have truces with most of these people, but I can literally just break the uh, break the truce if I want to, just to finish it up. In fact, I think I have truces with most of these nations. Um, I'll convert Burgundy, sure. I'll fight them real quick, why not? Just Ulm as well, so let me move over to Ulm and siege them out. Might as well convert the rest of these nations here, since all six of them are right here. So that there are no heretics left at all in the entire game. 
That works for me. Looks like they're already getting sieged, though. So I, I should be able to just piece them, right? No, I'll have to wait for them to actually be sieged. Okay. That's totally fine. This is actually a very impressive fort, though. Because with all of my forts, or all of my cannons, I'm only getting level 4 bonus. Yeah, it's a full level 8. That is impressive. For AI at least, yeah, that's pretty good stuff. Let me just keep on uh, building up that production value. It's still a really long time before we actually... Uh... I don't even know what I was going to say. <laughs> long time before we get next tech, that's what it was. And then I'll finish up our professionalism just like that. Bup, bup, bup. Great. So, full professionalism. Our nice uh, interface is very golden. It's a little bit done, though. Our golden there is finished, unfortunately, but it was fun while it lasted. And someone messaged me on Steam in the middle of a recording. Oh, how rude, huh? Let's see here. Let's get Burgundy done. 14%. Oh, marvelous. Some more industrialization events. Come on, give me that. There we go. Then I can take your capital. Ulm will not bow yet. Actually, they must have just pieced out. Okay. So I can use this stack to actually siege that faster. I can also grab this guy for extra possible advisor. That's a lot of money, but I'm super rich now, so I don't really care that much. We've taken Verdun. Advisor's died, so we'll replace him with pretty much the same dude. There we go, a new Pope. Uh, we've kept our Curia controller. This dude's basically just a Republic leader. He's kind of boring, but oh well. Same thing. Crusade after limit. I really wish there was more that we could, you know, do here. With this uh, 33,429 ducats in the Curia. But I can reduce heresy all the way down to uh, pretty much zero here. <laughs> yes, beautiful. <laughs> there is no more heresy. It's all gone. God, yeah. 1,670% faster now. Hmm. Isn't that just beautiful? And I'll just take some money from Ulm. Have a good day. We'll bring you guys back down here. And we'll peace out with you. Force religion. Take your money. War reps. And alliance. That's another nation converted. How about Luxembourg? Okay, I have to balance this, though. How much dev are you? 56, so I can't actually convert Savoy in a separate war. How about Luxembourg, though? Yeah, even less so. But you're also allied with Bar. So I can maybe take some of your land and then force convert you in a separate war. Maybe? Yeah, so if I attack Savoy and then I convert them. And then we have Luxembourg, which I'll take like a province or two from. Just to reduce them to uh, 55 or something. So if we take these two, then that is 23%. Not quite enough. I'd have to take these three provinces. And then these remaining ones. Remaining ones I can convert, right? Yeah. So that is... 38? 39? Yeah, 39% war score that I'll take. And then the remainder... Will be, yeah, definitely more than we need. This song is very familiar to something I've heard before. What is this one called? Land of Piety War. Hmm. 
I've heard a very similar theme to this. But anyways, I don't want your alliance offer, thank you. Uh, prestige or... I'll take cardinal, sure. Did you just... Did you just annex land from Ferrara, who is somehow still alive? Okay, sure, whatever. So I'll declare on you. I'll go after these forts here. Just very quickly converting the rest of the Protestants. 49% on that one, 35 on that one, 14 on that one. Alright. Come on, 71% should be easy. Oh, come on. 49? Nope. Apparently not. 85, come on. You've got to give me 85. There we go. Then we have 71 over here. I can't believe this game, man. 71 is just my unlucky number. Despite being very much in favor, you know, statistically speaking. It seems to be my unlucky number. And we lost a siege over here. Well, ain't that just great. Thanks for that siege. Did we lose a second one? Can't even imagine where this time. Oh. Right, okay. That's totally reasonable, sure. Definitely reasonable. I'll have these guys help this siege over here. Looks like they're getting aggressive. So I might want to protect them. Let me just uh, siege down the rest of Luxembourg here. Very nice. We'll just bring these guys together. You can actually go up here now. That's fine. Can't believe you guys still didn't get that fort. Come on. They're sieging down my stuff in Russia, which is totally unreasonable. There is literally no reason to do that, but all right. Sixty-four... There we go. I'll split you in two. Luxembourg, I'd like to take these three provinces, if you don't mind. I'm sure you'll agree that it's totally okay. Totally fine. Just gotta siege down that last province of theirs. Yeah, it's probably totally okay. Uh, loses my core claim, I cede it to Aragon. Really don't know about that one. Don't think I will. Aragon is, of course, reasonably upset about that, but I'll pay off their tremendous debt to fix that. Aw, oh, rip. There's a fat Luxembourg stack I'll have to deal with. Before I can piece them out, yeah. Gonna have to crush that stack of theirs. There we go. Can't stack wipe it, but... Nope, that's the end of the story. There is no stack wiping. Can I take your land? Oh, okay, yeah, that's fair then. Uh, Force Religion will cost 75 next time around. Which is cool with me. Um, sure. Thanks for that land. Don't know if I'll just... Nah, I won't court myself. I'll give them all to Badane, I think, once I convert you to Catholic. I grab this alliance. Sure. I'm sure that didn't cause any massive major issues, right? Nah, totally not. Looking spicy. We're looking totally fine. So let's give this land to our vassal. Luxem uh, less it's actually Luxembourgo now because we've changed it to uh, to Italian, but it's been changed back. 
Okay, so that's one more nation converted. We have Haino and Bar. It's good that Luxembourg is still willing to fight. Because I'll be declaring on Bar right now. Your allies are Denauvet and... Actually, where is Denauvet? And how... Actually, I don't care about how large their army is. Right here. I don't have an army super nearby, but I can move one. So let's begin. Apparently like this. It's not a very nice way to begin, but alright. Having to unsiege someone else's fort first. Yes, that's the best way to get started, huh? And you are Catholics, so that's cool. That... Mm. You changed... How did you change into Protestant? How does that work? I can't even imagine how you did that. I'm guessing someone released them into a Protestant province or something? Or they were... Or, you know, they um, had to succumb to rebels or something, but... ah. Oh, I don't like that. We take one nation down, another one swaps to Protestant. That's quite nice, huh? It's not like we can. This People aren't going to, like, automatically convert back, are they? Without rebels? They might. I don't know. There we go. We'll just crush your army and finish that whole thing up. The Novats would leave. So yes, you can do that. Don't actually care how long that truce is. There you go. Move those guys there. Luxembourg, we're back with Force Religion. Just to clean up this whole area. We have someone in Troyes already. Lots of truces are finishing up here. Oh, we're not quite there yet. Just gotta take one more province. There we go. Luxembourg, you will convert. And give me money. There we go. That's complete. And then you will also convert, give me money. Leaving us with Ferrara, Haino, and uh, Bamberg, which has apparently gone and brought themselves back to life, or somehow just converted. Don't even know how. But I'll move into Konstanz just to fix that up. I'll move you guys together. I'll move you guys back here. Into not Bamberg, apparently. I'll ask Wetzberg for some mill access. Why do we have so many issues? Hesse. Yes, we have Hesse's mill access, that's why. Anyone else? Mm, no, not really. Alright. Should be able to convert things pretty easily. There's also Bohemia, which has migrated their capital to here and invaded Bosnia. Um, sure, we'll go with that. There we go. We've gotten ourselves more governing capacity through that idea there. We can pick an actually good policy, but I don't need that one either. I could use Diplo Annexation Cost, which is nice. I mean, sure, right? It's one of those situational ones. You throw it on for like a few years and then you take it off because it's useless. But yeah, it's there. Would you convert just off of this? You would. Okay, that does make my life easier. Oh, there's a timer for today, but seeing as we're very close to the end of things, I'm just going to keep it going. So we'll force religion, war wraps, money, and that will make you the last, not the last, but one of the last nations that we've converted. 
Let's use our black flag to move you into here. You can stay where you are. You guys can move over here as well. Because we still have Ferrara to deal with. And then we have Haino, which we have a truce with. Till 29? Well, that's a long time. That's three whole years. Well, that's annoying. Still no rest for the weary, so we might as well get started. Clear on you. Move you guys into here. Move you guys into there. And who's actually on this? Luxembourg again. Oh, poor Luxembourg. They've been invaded like six different times. That siege is completely done. We'll go and fix that up and then move into here. Hopefully we can scare those guys off a little. If not, just pick up a few battles, maybe. Or not, because they are experts at running away. Very good at it. Let me just uh, barrage these two forts real quick. Because this is going to be a pain if I can't keep it. So I actually do have to siege this fort. And I'll move them into here. Just so I can siege that. There we go. Then I can move into here. And clean up some things. So Burgundy would leave. Off of money. Luxembourg would leave off of money, war reps, and your alliance with Ferrara. Or that's actually guaranteed. It's not even alliance. It's just weird. And then we'll move over to Salzburg using this guy. And you can move down here. Unless I can just convert you. Which I can, which is nice. <sighs> and then there's one final, just one final nation left. You, which I have a truce with. So I can either choose to wait a few years, or I could just declare on you anyway, because it's the final episode. And being the final episode, I feel like it's totally fine to go ahead and break truce. But I kind of want to see how this is going. Because they've pretty much surrendered to Ferrara, but Ferrara's refusing to actually peace out, which is weird. I don't know why they're doing that. In fact, I can't even get war score until they do, so... I might as well wait, because I can't do anything for now. There we go. We have Alençon, which is, thank god, Catholic. And then we have you. Just gonna break that truce for the fun of it. Because this is the final episode and we have nothing better to do. He'll even give me access after all that time. <laughs> Except you've gone and done something stupid, which is to actually declare war yourself. Ah well who knows? Maybe they'll uh maybe they'll annex it for me. Works just as well. And there you go. I broke my truce for absolutely no reason. But that seems like it's game. That seems like we're done. We have, I think, converted every single heretic except for Anglican, but that'll drag things on for way too long if I do that. We have removed every single Protestant nation out there. And reformed, actually, now that I think of it. Reformed has been reduced to two provinces. One of which I might even choose to convert, except of except for religious zeal, which won't allow me to. So, reformed has been reduced to two provinces. There might be a little bit in the middle of nowhere, like over here. Got a couple of reformed random provinces for expel minority or something. But yeah, we've pretty much gone ahead and done it. We've ended or mended the schism, however you'd like to say it. We have... Crushed the heretic strongholds. There is no HRE, but we've replaced it as the true Holy Roman Empire here. And see, has a, you know, see how it has all three adjectives? Kind of makes sense. Anyways, the mission tree is complete. I feel very satisfied with this run so far. And uh, I might as well throw on the very brief time lapse or time lapse timeline. It calls a timeline, but it's basically a time lapse of the whole campaign. So I'll turn up the music for your listening pleasure while we go through it.
Actually, I think I'd like to comment over it. So basically, a lot of Italian expansion early game. A little bit into here as well. We had to do a lot of, uh, a lot of AE managing. But it was relatively easy because of the, um, the Pope mechanics. So we had a lot of AE reduction for most of this game, which made this uh, very possible. Those of you who have been here long enough to watch my Tunis campaign knows that uh, often true struggling is a lot of pain, so I'm kind of glad for this series we didn't have to true struggle that much and we didn't have many coalitions because of the uh, aggressive expansion impact things that we had. But we've done a lot of Italian stuff mainly. We went over to the Ottomans and Crusaded. We went down here, went into France... This is all before the 1600s, so I'll pause right around then, just to see exactly where we were. So 1600, we pretty much destroyed the Ottomans, we ended the schism, united most of Italy, just a few provinces because of AE reasons that we had to hold out on. But uh, we made the Saxon, uh, sorry not Saxon, the Gascony vassal. I actually forgot about this one, but it was very useful for reconquering against France and pushing us much further into there. And then we had Aragon as our vassal for reconquest. We popped out Tunis here, I think. Uh, no, not yet. We wouldn't have done that yet because we didn't own this. Yeah, so that's a little bit later, but we had pretty much this. And in 128 years, we went from this... Well, it'll be a long time if I say to this, but... You know what happened, we lost uh, the League War, which made us lose these provinces. In heated revenge, I decided to get those back, and then some. I also cleaned up the rest of the Ottomans. I took something out of the Mamluks, vassalized Tunis, that's when we got rid of the port there. We took a province back, we released Syria, lots of provinces there. And then for a little while, we actually went over to Japan and China to take some land. And then we came back over here, we had the whole, uh, what's it called? We had the, wait for it, the coalition should happen right around now. There you go, two provinces, not much. And then we annexed a vassal. And this is pretty much where we are now. After converting the entire HRE back to Catholic. And imposing the Catholic will over the uh, East Asian sphere. We've also ended the schism. Orthodox has been completely snuffed out for the rest of existence. It's completely gone. No provinces left. Coptic will probably live on just as um, Demi estates over here, so never truly free anymore, unfortunately. And we have Anglican, but that's fine. They're, you know what? They're allied to the Pope, so it pretty much counts. Well, uh, kind of, not really. We'll just, uh, we'll pretend that we're going to deal with this later when in reality we're not going to. But that's the run. That's the whole campaign, a whole 46 episodes. So I truly hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a wild ride from the release of 1.30 to where we are now. And those of you who have been watching a little while probably know that I've started up a Death Martian campaign. So I'll see you guys in that if you haven't already started watching it. This is Corbett, signing off for the last time on our Kingdom of God Battle Pope 1.30 campaign. And as always, have a fantastic day. I'd like to give a quick shout out for the patrons for the month of July. Especially those we have in the Admiral tier, Ben Greenhagen, Karin Newley, and Tiger Pop. Those in the General Tier, Justinian, Brennan Arcano, and Alexander Baker. Those in the Prince Tier, Natsuki, Rockbox2020, and TFLJ Martis. And as always, in the King Tier, we have Chewy Shoot. Thank you guys so much for your pledges, it means a lot to me. You're helping to move this channel forward much more than you know. And as always, I cannot possibly thank you enough.